الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هب تفلا it's important for us to always strive to be of those who give instead of those who receive and the believer should strive his or her best not to be of those people who ask people consistently meaning if you have a real need a real hajja there is no problem if you're asking questions about the deen this does not fall under that of course if you need something uh, out of necessity this does not fall under that but it's striving your utmost to not be of those who are constantly uh, asking others to where it may become a situation where you begin to be seen by others in a lower light because the people respect you more as is narrated in hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam you will gain the honor of the people by not asking them and the true honor comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in a hadith of Sahih al-Bukhari narrated Urwa bin Zubair Hakim ibn Hazm said I asked Allah's apostle for something and he gave me and I asked him again and he gave me and said, O oh, Hakam, this wealth is green and sweet, meaning it's tempting. And whoever takes it with the upper hand, meaning who gives it, is better than the lower, meaning the one who receives and asks. Hakam added, I said, O oh, Allah's possible, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, by him who has sent you with the truth. I will never demand anything from anyone after you till I die. Afterwards, Abu Bakr radiallahu ta'ala used to call Hakim to give him something, but he refused to accept anything from him. Then Umar radiallahu ta'ala who called him to give something, but he refused. Then, um, uh, then Umar said, O Muslims, I offer to him, meaning Hakim, his share which Allah has ordained for him from the war booty and he refuses to take it. Thus Hakim did not ask anyone for anything after the Prophet till he died. Radiallahu ta'ala anhu wa radiallahu anhum ajma'een ala sahabat rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Ahabatifillah, we see from this hadith that from the minhaj nabuwa, from the prophetic minhaj or methodology, and from the way of the Sahaba, radiallahu ta'ala majma'in, and we see this example from Hakim, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, was to not beg and to strive to not ask the people and be dependent upon the people. And we see the hikmah in this hadith, or better yet, I should say, from the hikmah of this hadith, is we see that the one who is not asking and begging from the people, that they are their honor is left intact. Because anyone who asks and begs frequently, then almost from the nature of people we can say that you will find the people will more than likely backbite or speak about this or refer to this in some manner or form. And that they will hold that person not in the highest light, in the highest esteem. For example, when you observe someone who always asks and always requires and is always in need, some people will actually go in the other direction because they say they automatically think of this person as only someone in need, as only someone who wants to take, as someone who never has anything to offer. And so they look at them as less than or in a negative light. So it's very important for us to keep our honor 
in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam by striving our best to not ask unless it's out of a necessity or for perhaps a greater good. We ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.